Hey guys, Flay here. Today I'll be demonstrating to you guys the correct way to check how powerful a job is and what its potential is by using the FFlox website. Now you may ask me, Flair, this is very easy. You just go to FFlogs, you go to the statistics page, and you go to the ReadyPS tab, and there you have it. No, that is very wrong. And sadly enough, that is how majority of the community has been looking at it. The correct way to look at it is to go through both the ReadyPS tab and the ADPS tab. Not just one, but both. The reason for this is how jobs play under raid buffs. It is very important to play under raid buffs on this game, whether it be for prog or for speed kills. For example here, you can see at the 95th percentile, Samurai is the second worst melee. At the 99th percentile, it is the same and the same is for it at the 19th percentile. So why is it that in P1S, in P2S, in P4S phase 1 and phase 2, Samurai is the most chosen melee. Speed kills is all about raid DPS, right? So why is it that Samurai, the second worst melee in raid DPS, is chosen the most? It is not for P3S, I can agree on that because on how downtime works, but why is it so for majority of the bosses? Let's take a look. If I click on the top speed here, for example, you will see that they have a Samurai. If I hover my mouse right here, you will see that there are many buffs. There is Devilment, there is Standout Finish, there is Trick Attack, there is Astrologian Cause, there's Divination, there's Technical Finish, there is Chain Stratagem. And this tab shows how much the Samurai has done within these raid buffs. Now Samurai is a selfish DPS clause. It is not going to bring any raid DPS to the party, of course. So that means that when it does a rotation, this raid DPS part is mostly going to stay the same. But when it plays under raid buffs, this DPS here, that is what shows on your ACT, goes up. If you don't play under raid buffs, you can still get this, raid am ra this amount of raid DPS, sorry, but you are not going to be getting this amount of DPS. And if you look here, this should be equal. That is the total amount of damage done. So, when you look here, a samurai like Ordicon has done 214 under divination. Here, the ninja has done 157 under divination. This means that the samurai has done this amount of raid DPS under divination to bring to the astrologian and in turn this is brought to the total raid dps this is the whole reason why samurai is chosen for speed kills despite its lower raid dps its ability to play under raid buffs so the amount of raid dps it brings when playing under raid buffs outshines its personal raid dps that is why Samurai is the top on the ADPS tab here. The same is whether I check for Sleepo Cat, for example. Let's check Tysi's raid DPS here. You can see that the total amount of raid DPS taken from his overall damage is 2.3k. You can see an amount of Devil Melt, an amount from Trick Attack, an amount of Chain, etc, etc. This is why you should be looking at this when determining a job's full potential. And that is why Samurai is so powerful right now and it is so broken. Let's take a look at the tanks now. Especially I will take the example of Warrior and Dark Knight. Everyone knows that Dark Knight is ahead in damage overall, whether it be for raid DPS and ADPS. Many players just say, okay, it's just by 400 over a warrior. Like here, a warrior at 90th percentile is doing 5.5k, and a dark knight is doing 5.8k. So that's 400 more. That's not a big deal, right? 400 is nothing. Wrong. Let's take a look at two of uh, the raids that I've chosen where they have a lot of raid buffs. One of them has a warrior, and one of them has a dark knight. 
Take for example here a warrior, how much it does under trick attack, under berserk hood and the other raid buffs. The total amount is 509. If you check the same for a dark knight, look at how much more a dark knight does. And all of this plays a big role whether you are doing a clear or you are doing speed kills. Because just by doing 500 more under raid buffs over warrior makes Dark Knight a lot more powerful than warrior. Not just by 400, by almost 1k more. And 1k is a lot on this J, especially after the stat crunch. If you were to look at the same numbers on Shadowbringers, which is around 4 times more, this would be 4k ish raid DPS, and that is a lot done by the tanks. That is why I have been consistently saying Dark Knight is extremely broken in the game right now, and the disparity between it and Warrior is extremely huge. During week 1, if you were to just do 1k raid DPS extra, you could make up for a whole death, you could make a smooth clear much easier. It's not just 200 ish or 400 ish raid DPS, it's by that much. I will keep this video short, I hope this video has given you guys an insight on how do you actually check what a job actually can pull off on the game when you are looking at it whether it be for progging, whether it be for speed kills. The reason why I chose these two the most is because this is what is the most valued on to check a player's potential because on how scuffed personal passing can get on send bugging etc. Either way, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.